Hey guys, Cat Angel, Paranormal Pillow Talk. You guys remember the old days when I would do streaming from my room, which is how it got the name Paranormal Pillow Talk. Well, being that I have been pretty ill, I'm going to be doing Paranormal Pillow Talk from in my bedroom, in my bed, but with lots of cool stuff. The only things that I do not have packed are the things that I need to stream with because I'm not going to be moving for a couple of months until my health stabilizes. But I wanted to give you a sneak peek of what we're gonna be doing tonight. First of all, we have the Poltercom hiding over there in its copper enclosure. Uh, Spirit Box 12150 up on top. Going to be doing some angel uh, cards and goddess card readings. We're going to be doing some smoke experiments within my ultraviolet box along with crystal dowsing rods uh, questions for you guys, which my crystal dowsing rod set master tools are there on the second shelf. Then, on to the rest of the show. This is just how I have everything set up over there are my IR lights. And then we're going to come to here. First of all, I have some very interesting relics to show you that you guys have never seen before. And I'm going to attempt to elicit responses, energy from them. So, coming right along here, you can see pretty much I have several different Ouija boards. The one at the very back of the headboard to the right is my Ouija board from the late 1800s that was in a Civil War soldier's house. I've talked about this many times on my show. And then I have a Hasco Ouija board behind that doll right there. And over here, I have a Ouija board that was made in Salem, Massachusetts, which is vintage. That one came from one of the groupings from the haunted trunk. So, very back up here, I'm going to be doing an experiment with my gazing mirror. When I do my own work, I pull the black veil over the mirror, but we're gonna see if tonight, under particular lighting, what we're going to get as far as things that you can see within that mirror. I have a couple of new Ouija boards that I have up there on the headboard. One is the Curious Oracle and one is a witch board. These are done by Cosmo Brian. Up here is the new Catholic Last Rite Six Sick Box, which actually isn't new. I just have not shown you this one. You guys have seen the one that I have Jesus on the front, but that one is packed away. Coming down here, we're going to have an assortment of things. I have my Andre's box over here. I have my spirit dice here. I have my UV camera set up there to take pictures to see if we get any orbs. I have my spell cast shells here for you guys to have shell readings. I have the DR60, which is Panasonic, and then we have the Panasonic QR200 for EVPs. In the center, I have my Very Wise Owl, some lavender oil, a yes, no, maybe pendulum board, my pendulum, and then my bigger board for doing pendulum readings, K2 meter, then as we come along here, I do have an EM pump so I can provide additional energy for spirits that might wish to speak tonight. 
and you guys can pretty much request any of the radios that I have that are laid out here, or we can do all of them, it's up to you. There are two 12 469s at the front. One is your typical, uh, the blue one, that gives that popcorn sound. The other one is also a 12 469, but it's a weather radio. It has a different sound. And then this one over here is the 12 470 with the orange buttons. Silver one is the Radio Shack 20. 125. I do have some meters here on um, my Trifeld meter. Oh, and let's not forget the classic Shack Hack guest box with external speaker. I also have my thermal camera ready to take thermal photography if needed. And then I have my psychic circle board with my Ouija board planchettes that I'm going to be using to do your shell readings. I'm going to do another night of Spirit Pick the Lottery Numbers, originally founded, I believe, by Andrew Openlander when he used to do Ghost Lotto with Ghost Boxes. But I just put intention to whomever may be in need of money and hope that maybe one of you guys win the lottery. I will probably also do some Ouija board readings, and this is one of my haunted dolls that I've not packed. There are a couple more over here in the corner that I've not packed, but pretty much everything else is packed. I'll take you on a little tour. Up here, we've got the IR lights, my fairly new um, Nikon fully converted um, pro body camera. But I'm just going to use the IR light up there that I've had forever to bathe the room in IR. So, coming around here, we also have a mirror. Clearly, I'm in my Tweety Bird outfit. But I'm going to show you guys pretty much everything is packed up. We've got boxes. and <laughs> We've got disarray. But the whole studio, as you can see, is all boxed up. Boxes there, boxes here, boxes, boxes everywhere. And then the sugar gliders and bubble wrap and all that stuff. So, I think that you guys are going to find that tonight's show is going to be pretty phenomenal. Mostly because of these items right here that you have not seen. If you know what they are, the item on the left and the item on the right, you would know that they are from the Victorian era. Both possess a lot of what I consider to be residual paranormal energy because of what the items are. But I'll wait to tell you exactly what these items are, these relics from the 1800s, when we get started with the show. So, there's your sneak peek. Get ready because we're getting back to paranormal. See you guys tonight at 9 p.m. Central. Thank you.